Hello everybody, welcome to the course. In this video, you're going to learn what the basics of HTML are. So we're gonna get started off by creating a new folder on your computer to organize the files for this course. So go ahead and do that right now. And I'm going to create a new text document. And this is gonna be our web page. Open up your newly created text document. And go to file and save it as index html notice how now that we have an html file here that we can open up with our web browser we can go ahead and delete our old notepad file since we don't need it anymore and if we open up this file we can see we have a blank web page and this is because we haven't actually wrote written any html yet So the next thing we have to do is we have to get an HTML or coding editor so that we can use it to write HTML on our web page. So I'm going to go ahead and go to google.com and I want you to type in notepad plus plus and you want to click on the first result here or you can go to this URL here which is the home page and navigate to the download section and download notepad plus plus onto your computer. We will wait for the file to download. And then after the file is downloaded, give it a click and start the installation process. I'll select my language here. I'll go through the agreements and everything here. Uh, pick where you want it to be installed. I'm just going to leave all this stuff as default since I don't really know what any of it does. Again, just kind of skip through all this stuff. Don't worry about any of it. And it will start installing. Now, I have an earlier version of Notepad++, so I'm, I'm just going to ignore these little things that pop up. And I think that's what's causing that. But again, you can just kind of ignore them and Notepad++ will just install normally. And now we can hit run. And now we have Notepad++. So I'm going to delete all this stuff in here. Let's close it for now. What I'm going to do is we're going to go back to our document. I'm going to right click it and go edit with Notepad++. Now we have our document opened up in Notepad++ and we can begin to write some HTML. So I'm just going to write some basic HTML elements here and just kind of show you how we can you know, start to build a website. So the first thing I'm going to create is called a tag. This is an HTML tag. And this is the start of the tag. And we also have to make a closing tag. So I'll write the closing tag here. You notice that there's a forward slash here at the closing tag. You'll also notice that it changed color in our coding editor. So what this means is all of our HTML content on this page has to be within this HTML tag. Pretty simple to understand, right? And if we click on the tag, Notepad++ will highlight the closing section as well. So within our tag, I'm going to hit space, and I'm going to write an h1 tag. And again, like your HTML tag, I'm going to create a closing element after I write my text here. So then we have our h1 tag. It's closed off, and inside of it, we have some text here. And this text is going to be given the style of an H1 element. And when I save this web page and preview it, you will see exactly what I mean. So we can see our text here is now a headline on our web page. Pretty simple, right? If we go back into our document, and if we change this text here, to something a little bit different and we save our file and then refresh our page by hitting F5 we will see that our text will change to whatever we wrote again so this is basically how we add HTML elements to an HTML document it's pretty simple it's not super complicated so let's go ahead 
and look at a website online that is using HTML elements. So Amazon.com is predominantly made up of HTML elements. Now there is some CSS, JavaScript, and different styling going on here, but predominantly this website on the back end is created with HTML. Again, if we go to my blog, we can see here that HTML is predominantly creating this website. We have some text, we have some content, and again, it is styled with CSS to make it look different, but this is predominantly HTML that is building this website as a structure. And this is what you're gonna learn how to do is build the structure of a web page in this course. So remember, HTML is the structure of a web page, CSS is what styles the web page, and there's also a third option called JavaScript, which adds interactivity to a website web page. So if I go to my courses page here, if I hover my mouse over one of these images, you'll see that it moves. Now that's actually JavaScript that's doing that. That's adding that interactivity kind of factor to a web page. But before we can do any of that, you have to have a firm and strong understanding of working with HTML, because really that's what kind of you know creates the backbone and the structure of a web page. Now that you know what HTML is, it's time to start looking at the structure of an HTML document in further detail.